Parenting's hard too, man. I'm a dad, you know, got a little three-year-old. You know, parenting is really hard. I do not know how my wife does it. It is hard. <laughs> Looks hard, man. <laughs> I feel like dads, we all kind of parent like the way we treat cardio, like 30 minutes a day and I'm done, right? <laughs> This is hard, right? I'm tired, I need a nap and a protein shake, you know? Do this. <laughs> An entire pandemic with a three-year-old. Where is my trophy, right? <laughs> That's what I should be getting, a trophy for this, because it's hard, like, you know, and I have a very smart little girl, too. Like, she's three and a half, and she can read already. I'm like, I didn't learn how to read until I was in first grade. So I got her a little book. It's called, So You Think You're Better Than Me. Huh? <laughs> Man, I think, you know, mothers, the thing about mothers is they connect with the child immediately. Right? And dads, we have to learn how to do it because they have them in the body and we just have to get to know them like, you know, joining a frat or something like that. You meet them afterwards. <laughs> hard because everybody told me too, you're going to love this baby more than you love anything in your life. And I'm like, look, I got Xbox Live, so <laughs> let's not get too crazy with this. <laughs> Sweet little girl, but I think she's always messing with me. I, I don't know. It's, she's, she's too smart or something like that. Because she asked me the other day, she goes, dad, what do I look like? I'm like, honey, it doesn't matter what you look like on the outside. What really matters is who you are on the inside and you're beautiful because you care about others and you're loving and kind to your neighbor. And she goes, no, I'm a bunny rabbit. I'm like, oh, <laughs> she got me. <laughs> For some reason, whatever a toddler does is somehow cute to everybody on the planet. But if a grown man does it, it's disgusting and disturbing, right? <laughs> Like she, she would walk into the middle of the living room, stare me in the eyes. Her face would turn beet red and she would poop her pants. And, and everybody seemed to love that. Let's get a picture for Instagram. This is a TikTok. This is going to be great, right? Yeah, but if Uncle Steve does it, he can't come to Thanksgiving anymore. <laughs> All right, it's working its way around. It's working its way around there. This guy still didn't clap. I'm going to be honest. So. At the end, when I get the standing ovation, you're part of this, buddy. Right? <laughs> Man. The thing is, like, you know, the way I grew up, I don't know if we're going to be able to quite raise her the same way. Because, like, you know, I'm in a parenting group. My parents didn't go to parenting groups. And so I'm trying to figure this out. Like, the thing is, there's always one mom in these parenting groups that makes the whole thing about herself, right? I don't know if you know these moms, but I mean, like, just this past week, one of the moms was like, guys, if we could just take a moment, I wanted to share a little thing going on in my life. I had a revelation. I learned I'm my own worst critic. I'm like, well, Rachel, you have not heard what the rest of us have been saying about you. Right? <laughs> we got a whole separate thread criticizing you. Whew. You must be saying some really bad things to yourself then. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and it's always that mom that wants to give me advice, too. She's like, I've got some books for you, Luke. You're going to love these. We've got the food training book and the potty training book and the sleep training book. I'm like, look, I'm an old-fashioned guy, and I'm going to do this the old-fashioned way. I'm going to mess up the first kid, try to fix the second. All right? <laughs> Now, I grew up uh, with a preacher dad. I'm a PK. My dad's a preacher. And so his advice to me about parenting, this was his entire advice. He goes, all you got to do is read the Bible. There you go. So I read the Bible. And do you guys know what it says about parenting? The very first verse I saw, it goes, uh, if a child is disobedient, stone them to death. I'm like, I don't even think they like spanking anymore. I don't know if I can do that one. Right? There's a prophet there in there, Elijah, right? And kids were like making fun of him, causing him trouble. You know what he did? He had bears eat them, right? <laughs> That's the parenting advice my dad is giving to me. Although when my daughter's a teenager, that one will come in handy. <laughs> Man. Man. 
They don't, re they don't discipline kids, though, the way they used to, you know? I grew up in Indiana, and, and now I see the way that parents raise their kids. You know, I grew up in Indiana, and my dad's a preacher. We didn't have any money, right? My dad's old and broke, which is a horrible combination. My inheritance is going to be this giant bag of sweet and low packets. My mom has been stealing from Denny's for the last 35 years, right? <laughs> he used to say, we're rich in spirit. Okay, I'm like, well, can the spirit get me a bike? No, he's broke too. So, <laughs> so that's how I grew up, no money. And I noticed rich parents, when their kids are being bad in public, they don't discipline their children. They have conversations with them, like, excuse me, Erasmus, <laughs> could you tell me why you weren't being helpful at the farmer's market like the adults? I'm like, because he's two, that's why. <laughs> That's not how I grew up. When a kid was being bad in public where I'm from, then it was an event for all of us, right? we just go to the store and you'd hear, Cooter, Cooter, get over here. Or you're gonna sass me here in front of all these good people and Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. I don't think so, I'm gonna rip your face off. Then I'm gonna spank you with it. I'm gonna spank you with your own face. So Jesus, me, and you can see yourself getting spanked. Yeah, yeah, maybe you'll learn something this time. Do it, do it, because I swear to heaven above, you give me that stink eye one more time and make me get up out of my rascal scooter. I will kick you in the throat with my club foot. How about that? Yeah, that'll be a Merry Christmas at the Walmarts, won't it? go. Even this guy clapped on that one. How about that? I mean, you didn't put your popcorn down, but I appreciate that. <laughs> oh, man.